Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Montoya. All right, so it's my first tutorial of 2019 and it is for this uh, bishop sleeve here with a ruffle cuff. Now, I know it has been a minute uh, since my last tutorial. I was in a little bit of an accident, so it wasn't a little, but yeah. So it had put me out of commission for a little bit and I could not sew, but I am grateful to get back to sewing. I mean, it took me a while. It took me a long time to do this coat, but I was determined to finish. I was like, let me go on here. Neck started hurting. I said, okay, remember to don't get frustrated and give up. What are the um, what are the exercises that your physical therapist gave you? So I was like, okay, let me go on ahead. I'm already in the chair. She showed me how to do the stretches in the chair. So I just, you know, when I felt it started to, you know, cramp up, I'm like, pause, take a deep breath, do your stretches, and get back at it. Or you just need to come back to it tomorrow. You know, just let yourself heal. But um, yeah, so I'm ready to get back into my sewing groove and put out some tutorials for you all. So this is my first one. Uh, stay tuned to the end. So I'm gonna show y'all how it's, you know, it's, it's clean on the, what is it, how the lyrics go? Clean on the inside, cream on the outside. Uh, I, I forget, I haven't heard that song in a while. I think it's clean on the inside, cream on the outside. But yeah, it's, it's clean on the inside. That's what I'm trying to say. My garments are clean on the inside. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial. All right, so for this tutorial, you'll need a basic sleeve pattern of your choice. You'll need some 3 4 inch elastic. That's 3 4 inches wide elastic. Uh, you'll also need some paper scissors. I'll be using a rotary cutter to cut out my fabric, but you can use fabric scissors. You'll need some pencils. You will also need, well, I'm going to use a Sharpie. Uh, but you could just stick with pencils and you'll also need some fabric marking tools All right, you also need some sort of paper of some sort because we will be um, modifying our sleeve pattern You will also need an index card or seam gauge and You will need some rulers. So this is a ruler. It's in a bell part, but it does have a curve uh, if you have one, go ahead and bring that out. If not, uh, it's all good. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing that you want to go ahead and do is lay out your sleeve pattern. And then you want to lay your tracing paper right on top. And you want to go ahead and begin uh, tracing your um, original sleeve pattern. Now, I'm using my ruler to help me make straight lines, but you can also... Um, just go ahead and sketch that if you prefer. After you're done tracing your pattern, be sure to transfer any notches that you had on your original sleeve pattern. All right, after you have it outlined, what you want to go ahead and do is measure the hem. So for me, that is 10 inches. So whatever that is, you want to divide that by two. So that's five inches for me. So I'm going to go ahead and mark, you want to go ahead and mark that point. All right, next you want to find the halfway point between the end and here. So for me, that's two and a half. You want to do the same thing over here. In between this point and this point here, you want to find the middle point. Next, we need to measure the cap. So on my sleeve pattern, I actually have the midpoint already uh, was determined. So what I'm going to do is measure from this point to here. You want to take it along the edge and whatever that measurement is. So for me, that's 10 inches. So I'm going, the halfway point is five. And for me, five kind of stops here. And I don't want to interfere with my notches, so I'm just going to move it over just a little bit, and that's okay. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Oh. 
Okay, next thing that I'm going to do is in the center, I'm going to draw, I'm going to connect the center point here with the center point here. Alright, next I'm going to connect the mark here with the mark that I made up here. Then I'm going to connect the mark here with the mark that I made up here. Alright, so next thing you want to go ahead and do is cut this out. Alright, next thing you want to go ahead and do is lay out uh, some paper underneath your pattern. Go ahead and grab your paper scissors. And what we're going to do is begin to cut along these lines. But when you're cutting, you're still going to leave a small, just maybe about a quarter to a, an eighth of an inch left at the end. So don't cut all the way through. Leave a small piece at the at each tip. All right, next, before we begin taping, we're going to spread each piece apart by six inches. So I'm going to start at the edge first, measuring over six inches, and I'm just going to use some pattern weights to hold that down in place at the bottom, and then also at the um, point there to hold it flat. And I'm going to repeat this process, spreading apart six inches using a weight to hold that down and then right at the tip making sure that it's flat I'm using a pattern weight and then for the last section I'm also spreading apart by six inches and making sure that it's flat at the top if not I just readjust to make sure that it'll be flat and then now I'm just going to go ahead and begin taping by uh, taping down the inner sections first then I tape the other sides of the pattern down as well. All right, next what we need to do is connect in between here. So I'm going to take my curved ruler. Now, if you do not have a curved ruler, you can just take your pencil and sketch a nice curved edge to uh, connect your sleeve together. Now you can go ahead and cut this out. All right, next we need to mark our elastic casing. Um, we need to mark where we're going to place our elastic casing. So grab your ruler, and from the bottom up, you want to measure an inch and a half. All right, so I'm marking my dots about three inches apart. So I'm measuring up from the bottom an inch and a half, placing a dot, and then I'm spacing them about three inches apart. Next, I'm creating a grain line right in the center of my pattern. Next, you want to measure the width of all of these dots. I'm going to start at one end, and if you notice that it starts to pivot, you can move the measuring tape a bit. So that's about 27 inches from here. Alright, so next we need to create our elastic casing. So the width for everyone is going to be two and a half inches. Next, you want to go ahead and mark your length. So for me, that was 27 inches when I measured my dots. And then I'm going to go ahead and close this up. After you're done with that, you can go ahead and cut this out. All right, the elastic casing will need to be cut out on the bias. So right now I'm taking my pattern piece and I'm lining it up with a 45 degree angle so that I can go ahead and create a, a, a grain line. And the reason why we are cutting this out on the bias is because our the cuff of our sleeve, it has a slight curve, and we need the elastic casing to be able to mold 
to that curve and fit to that curve because if you try cutting it out just regularly then the top portion will not lay flat next you can go ahead and begin cutting out your fabric be sure to cut out two sleeve pieces and two uh, sleeve casings and then make sure that you do cut out that pattern piece the casing on the bias <laughs> 